up, didn't it? Simon got rid of him. Simon Kukoza out there in, in England. I, and I forget where he's at, though. He's in England. I know, but he, he there's a weird name. It's like Vase or Vass or Neat, not Neat. I don't, I don't remember, but he is a, he is a side rider. And uh, there's, a, there's a lot of in hand work. I don't know him. Oh, my God. <laughs> if I bump into him, I will say we've we've both been on your podcast. Yeah, right, right, exactly. I know, but it's just one of those things like, oh, you're from Florida? Don't you know Tommy? No, I don't know Tommy. <laughs> I did actually, on one of my first visits to the States, I did have somebody ask me if I knew Paul McCartney. And I said, yes, I do know Paul McCartney, but I doubt if he knows me. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> That's a great answer. So thank you for joining us uh, this week on the show. You are a doctor, um, but you're a doctor of not necessarily uh, of like a, a DM, what is that, a doc, doctor of veterinary medicine. DVM. Right, a DVM. You're a doctor of a different sort. So tell us what kind of doctor you are and how that pertains to the horse and the biomechanics and the horse and everything that we talk about here on the show. Okay, I'm a doctor of philosophy, often shortened to PhD. So that's an academic doctor. So... Uh, in most countries in the world, including the States, you have a Bachelor of Science, then you have a Master of Science, and then you have a PhD. And I studied for mine part-time, so it took me, well, it was a six-year course. I did manage to do it in just over five years. And I, my PhD is in equine physiology and locomotion because I spent my time studying horses' hooves. And that's what my PhD thesis is on. And anybody can download that for free if they search hard enough. <laughs> so I always ask the question when anytime we have a guest on the show, and the, 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 the answer is almost unanimously. So I'm going to say, how did you start get in the horse community? Obviously, you know, you went to be a, a doctor and everything. But it's always like the, the answer that I get is I started on my daddy's farm back in the day, and they didn't have a farrier. They didn't have a, anyone to you know run shoes. I was the only one in the family that rode horses. Uh, I, I was drawn to the horses. I was drawn to the hooves. Um, so are any of these checking off boxes for you as far as how you get started no. into the business? No. None of them, Travis. <laughs> None of them. I was bred. I am, I am at least fourth generation farrier, so I'm genetically programmed to shoe horses <laughs> and that's, that's what happened and i i had uh, my father three uncles and two brothers all shoeing from the same forge at one point in my 